Hey guys. What's the uh, experience been like for you over here? Oh, it's been great. You know, it's kind of a whirlwind. Um, you know, I haven't gotten to enjoy. Uh, you know, many of the sites are outside the hotel and the practice field, so I'm excited to get out this afternoon. And um, I think my wife has some tea planned for us, and uh, maybe some dinner somewhere. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's been it's been great. Okay, so how did the lead up to this week's game get to 12 months ago? Um, you know, we were here for all week last time. Uh, we came straight after the Detroit game, and uh, you know, so I had. Uh, you know, you could say it was more time to adjust, but really flying right after a game is pretty tough. So I like how we're doing it this year. Um, you know, getting in, uh, walking through yesterday, um, you know, and then having a good practice today. I think uh, I think we're we're in a good place. I'm uh, I'm excited to get out there on the on the field again there at Twickenham and uh, and, and, and play. Does it work best for you in terms of mental preparation for the game? What's that again? Does it work best for you in terms of mental preparation for the game? I think so, and, and that's a big part of my preparation. Um, you know, there's there's not a lot of reps going around uh, during the week uh, as far as the amount of plays we have in the game plan, as far as the amount of reps we get. So a lot of it is, is mental reps, and it's visualizing things. So um, that's, that's part of what I do all the time. So to have my, my mind where it needs to be sharp, uh, get enough sleep, I think uh, it's, it's important. How big of a difference does it make without Miles Garrett for the Browns? You know, obviously he's a great player, um, but I don't think they're going to play with 10 up there. I think they're going to put 11 guys, so, uh, you know, and, and uh, you know, whoever else, you know, is, is in there, I know is, is, is going to be playing their tail off. So, um, you know, we still, it's, it's still a great front, um, you know, still the scheme. It's a Greg Williams defense, so I know that we have, uh, you know, we have our work cut out for us. And, uh, you know, we've got to be on, on top of our uh, on top of our game, we've got to be sharp with everything. What do you see as kind of the hallmark of a Greg Williams de defense? You know, there's a lot of things. Um, <laughs> and that's part of it, you know, the fact that, I, you know, that you might not know what the hallmark is. So uh, I've been around him enough to know that, uh, you know, he's got a he's got a, something up his sleeve for every situation. So, um, you know, it's just a, a matter of being prepared or being prepared for the unexpected, if that makes sense. So, um you know, I'm excited. It'll be a, it'll be a tough game, tough, uh, tough opponent, and a great atmosphere. With as physical as they are, do you? Is it kind of cause you to look around a little bit more, keep the head on the swivel a bit? Uh, you know, everybody in this league is, is physical. Um, you know, we played a physical team last week. We're going to play another physical team. Uh, you know, every week. So, um, you know, it's just it's just one of those things where you never know where the pressure is coming from. So yeah, I mean, you need to be uh, prepared for for uh, for pressure from anywhere. Case, although we assumed that Mike Zimmer just officially announced he was the starting quarterback. When does he kind of tell you during the week you're the starter, or you just kind of assume it because you're taking all the first team reps? Um, you know, it's like, I, like I've said before, I've answered that question. You know, I, I prepare uh, the same way. Um, you know, as far as him telling anybody, I mean, I, I hear when you guys hear, but, uh, I, you know, I, I prepare like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start each week. Okay, so the way the, the way the defense plays here is, is stepping in and starting here at, with the Vikings different than any other place you, in other places you've stepped in as a starter. Yeah, every team is different. Um, you know, I don't want to compare. I try not to compare years or teams. Um, you know, but this team in particular, it's it's incredible that I'm on the sideline when our defense is on the field. Uh, I, I I I really like going against them in practice a lot more when I'm wearing this red color jersey so they don't hit me. <laughs> Uh, rather than you know on the field in uh, in live action, so I know that they're very talented. Uh, they can put a lot of pressure on opposing teams, uh, especially the quarterbacks. And uh, you know the fact that they can you know get a lot of turnovers and, and get us more possessions. You know I think that's that's a that's a that's a, a big thing for an offense. When you have that, do you feel like you do you do a, there's like less pressure on you, and then do you feel that in a game like you don't have to do as much, or does that help? Uh, you know, I don't know if it's less pressure. Um, I think it's just it's just knowing that uh, you know, knowing that we have a great defense and that we just need to protect the football and uh, and don't you know don't put uh, our defense in a bad spot. Um, you know, but I don't I don't, I don't know if it changes uh, my mindset offensively as far as an attack or conservative or um, less or more pressure. Um, it's just it's just nice to have those guys on our wearing wearing purple. Case you touched upon it before, but. Maybe more specifics on the atmosphere at Twickenham Stadium. I mean, what makes it uh, such a great atmosphere? Are they cheering for both teams, or 
and what's it like? Yeah, it's great. Um, I, I love the stadium itself. Um, you know, just kind of how it's, uh, you know, I don't know if what, what got those awnings overhang, uh, got the open feel to it. Um, you know, the weather here, I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. Um, you know, just walking in, uh, you feel like a soccer or a football star. Uh, you know, just the way, um, you know, the way the fans are. Um, it's great. I mean, they're they're really excited about American football, and uh, I think it's it's really cool. I mean, it's a soccer field, or it's, it's a rugby field, so it's wider, um, and uh, it's it's just a cool place to play. Do you think a team over here could work? That they could have a team in the NFL for a million money? I don't know. Um, I mean, anything's possible. Uh, you know, I'm sure that they they figure out uh, a way to schedule. I mean, I, I think talking to my wife, I think it'd be fun to. To live here for you know a certain period of time for a while, um, but uh, but yeah, who knows? How big of a difference would it make getting Stefan back in the offense? Uh, he's a playmaker. He's a huge playmaker. I mean, anytime you get a guy like that back on the field, um, just a guy that you, you never know what he's going to do when he's got the ball in his hands, and uh, it's exciting. So we're gonna, you know, that's somebody that uh, I like getting the ball in his hands, and uh, it. Uh, it's you know it's big for the offense. I think it's I think it's it's really big. Thanks, guys. Yeah.